Hi, welcome to session number five. This session we are going to discuss fretting technique. So what is fretting? Till now you were playing only open strings, right? So E string open, A string, any string you were playing it open till now. Fretting is when you want to play any of the frets on any of the strings. So how do we, we we're going to use our left fingers to do it. But there are some techniques that we need to follow to create a very clear tone. There's a difference between when you play a note like this. Or you play a note clearly like this. So for us to be able to play that note clearly, let's understand the four rules of fretting technique. Now let's try to understand how it's going to look on the staff and the tablature. Staff, there will be no effect whatsoever. Staff will still show you what is a note value you're supposed to play. For example, play a whole note. But the tablature is going to show you where is the fretting required. So, play a whole note on the first string, first fret. So the tablature will have one written on the first string. So play it one, two, three, four. Play the second fret on the fourth string. So the fourth string will have two written on it. And similarly, it will go on like that. So let's learn the four rules of fretting technique with your left hand. First rule is always play with the tip of your finger. What does that mean? Don't use these fleshy parts to play the string. Why? Because if you play with your fleshy part, that will mean your finger will get flat and it will touch the other strings. As soon as that happens, if you're playing the sixth string, it's fine, but the next string is going to get muted. You want it to be, you want it to be pressed only on the string that is required, right? So the for the clarity, you need to play only with the tip of your finger. Rule number two, place your thumb behind your second finger, right? So, Imagine if you want to pin somebody, what are you going to do? You have to use your thumb to pin somebody, right? Similarly, if you want to apply pressure with your first, second, third, fourth finger, you have to keep your thumb somewhere in the middle of these four. So that is like almost to your second finger so that you can equally spread the pressure around your first, second, third, fourth finger. So if I'm playing the first four frets, my finger my thumb is somewhere here, just behind the second fret or second finger. The third rule is keep your wrist straight up like this. It should not be like this touching the neck. It should never come in contact with your neck. So again, the tip of finger first rule. Second rule is thumb around uh, the second fret, behind the second fret. Third rule is keep your wrist straight not in contact with the neck and the last and the final rule is where in this entire fret are you going to press not in the beginning not in the center just behind the fret wire because that's the sweet spot the amount of pressure it takes to press in the beginning is really high same pressure in the middle is somewhat okay but the sweet spot is right at the end. Right? So again, let's recap quickly the four rules and make sure you follow them. First rule, use only the tip of a finger. So if I'm playing the first four frets, it's like... Second rule is keep your thumb behind the second fret. Third rule is keep your... Uh, keep your wrist straight, not touching the neck and the last and the final rule is press it just behind the fret wire not in the beginning not in the center around the fret wire right the thumb is always going to be behind the second finger i've said behind the second fret because we were taking an example of the first four frets but what i really mean is it should be behind the second finger so these are the four rules that everybody especially you need to follow while playing the guitar.